Pastor, good morning. It's Friday. Uh, thank God for this day that is given us that we may uh, learn from Him. Uh, it's been uh, a week of learning and understanding the things concerning God's mercy. And, uh, and we, we do we want to thank Him for taking us through this, this uh, devotion for us to understand the nature of God, God is mercy, the nature of God, the nature of man, the laws of administering mercy. Then today we'll be looking at to, to understand the blessings and the platforms of God's mercy. So we understand that God is faithful. And God is full of mercy. And He's willing to show mercy to those who will seek Him diligently, wholeheartedly, and who are willing to turn to Him in righteousness. That is that is the desire of God. The desire of God is to show mercy. The desire of God is to save people. And it's the act, through the act of saving people that He shows mercy. Yeah? The book of Hebrews 4.16 tells us, Let us uh, therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in times, times of need. That is, that is a call unto the throne of God, the throne of grace, yeah? to obtain mercy. It's there. And... Uh, with this understanding of what is mercy and how can we get it on the Lord to do it, the nature of man which warrants God's mercy, then we understand that it's our, it's, we are required to, to approach the throne of grace so that we may obtain mercy. Yeah? To approach, it's, it's our duty now to approach, it's our duty to move, to take action and move to God's grace, the throne of grace, which is Jesus Christ. Yeah? which is approaching Jesus Christ, approaching the throne unto which Jesus is seated, unto the right hand of the Father, which is seated to show us mercy. And as we, under, we, we understand from our, our previous days learning, is that mercy is the system of one, of one advantage unto us, to fulfill what God has called us unto. So with this we need to understand, it's a platform which we need to, to go, yeah? which we need to, to approach. In the book of Romans uh, 9, 15 and, 16 says, 15 and 16 says, For he has said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. That's the word of God. It's very clear that he told Moses that we will have mercy on whom he will, and we will have compassion on whom he will. And this is the same thing, that God will have mercy on us. Because he wills, he's willing to do that. He's willing to have mercy on us. He's willing to have compassion on us. The things which we are struggling with, we struggled with him for with, with for the for the past five years, ten years, for a lifetime, which are proved uh, proved uh, not doable unto man's eyes, but unto God's eyes and the provisions of the mercy we are able to receive from them. And that this calls us to approach the throne of grace confidently, knowing that God is going to sort us. God is going to provide for us. God is going to sort these issues which have persisted for long. Because the Bible says, in verse 16 says, So it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that shows us. It's not our abilities. At the aspect and instance of God's provisions of mercy, it's not our ability to propel us to the point of receiving from God's mercy. It's God's ability to show us mercy. It's not for him that we live, nor of him that run, but it of God that shows us. It's God to show us mercy. It's our only action is to approach the throne of Christ. Our viewers and the, 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 the people who uh, watched this morning devotion, it's our responsibility to take that bold step and approach the throne of, of Christ. It's a bold step. It's not anyone and everyone who takes that bold step to approach that throne of Christ. Some of them think that the power of God to show mass are limited, which is not true. It's not the case. The case of God, God shows us mass at anything. Yeah? At anything. We have instances which God has shown us mass. Some of us watching and fellowshipping with us this morning, they are able to tell that if it were not for God, this thing could not have moved. That is an act of God's mercy because it was beyond our abilities to do that. So that one shows us it's not uh, 
our strength it's not our ability to run fast that makes us successful it's God that shows us much and this this is the platform under which God shows us fear. Mercy is a system under which someone can sit down and say, I thought this guy was finished. What is happening? I see something is just coming out so well out of him. And God is going to see people come out of their problems so well such that the enemy will be able to tell this not his effort. God must have gotten involved on this person's affair. God must have gotten involved in your affairs. And God is getting involved in someone's affair today because you will have made that bold step of approaching the God's throne of mercy. Because all of us, we are worth of God's mercy. We are worth of God's mercy. We are worth to receive from God's mercy because we have been saved by grace. We've been saved by God's mercy. And we've been called and shown the way unto which we obtain mercy from God. This one helps us and approves us that we can approach the throne of grace because the veil was broken and we are given the ability to enter the holies of holies. And this was gives the confidence. The reason the story is being told that we walk in confidence is because uh, in, in the old covenant, people never used to play around the, the holies of holies. The throne of grace, nobody used to play around with it. It was known, it had been mapped for people, specific people to be able to enter into that place. Because it requires a certain level of consecration, a certain level of holiness for you to enter there. And there were, there, there were systems put in place. If you enter there and you die there, then you pulled out of there. There were systems. But now it was broken and you were given the ability to enter the Holy of Holies. And that's why you are being taught, be bold. Be bold, enter the throne of grace. Be bold, obtain mercy. Be bold. You are being called this morning to be bold and enter the throne of mercy because you are worthy of God's mercy. You've been made worthy of God's mercy. You've been made worthy to obtain from favor from God because God has favored us. It is just by favor that someone will, but that Supreme God will sit down and say, Go and die for this man. Yeah, for four years, 400 years, they had not heard from God. But Jesus came and saves us and sees the sins and wipes up out the sins of every one of us and with that jesus opened up defeated death and showed us up for us that we may live a fresh day every day full of god's mass fresh mass every morning and that's what we are doing every morning we are living from god's mass every morning we are living as a beneficiary of god's mass and that is making us by just making us worth to, 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 to benefit from God's mercy. Praise the name of God. Then the other thing we need to understand is what is the work of God's mercy. Yeah? We cannot actually the import, uh, we cannot actually quantify the importance of God's mercy in our life of a man. We cannot quantify it. It's there. It's beyond quantification. You cannot count and say now I'm going to use any any data analysis tool to say now. With this trend, I can see this is the importance of God's mercy. That's how it, it has happened to us. Because God must stand the rejected man to be God's favorite son, to be God's favorite daughter, to have the ability to approach God in His holiness, in His dwelling, the dwelling of marvelous light, being able to get there and speak unto Him and hears you and he heeds to the prayers. It's by God's mercy that is a promise to answer every prayer that we ask, that we seek. It's by God's mercy that you've been able to ask if if those of the dark world, if those of the outside world, those not born again are able, they, 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 the wrongdoers. When Jesus was giving an example of uh, of fish and bread, yeah? of fish and, and, and snake, bread and stone, it reached a point and he was asking them if those who and are pagans, those who don't believe in me, I about to do good things. What about me? The Heavenly Father, what is this going to do unto us who seek from Him? That is an act of mercy. God is able and is willing to do. And this one shows the issues of the ability and the willingness of God to administer mercy unto us. Yeah? Having understood mercy, then we understand that God's it's by God's mercy to turn the rejected person unto accepted son. Yes, he has made us for greatness. 
He has made us to be great in His ways. Yeah? He has given us the abilities. Yeah? He has made things to work for us because it's by His mercy that things are called to work for us. The book, the book of Romans 8.20 says, And we know that all things work for good for those who love Him and those who have been called according to His purpose. And the purpose of God is to, to administer mercy to an extent that whatever that we felt is so difficult for us, it works for our good. And at this point, we, we look at our different scenarios in our lives and we understand the challenges we are going through at family levels, at business levels, at work levels, in our careers, even in our studies. There are things which we need God to just administer us, to show us and to turn us into a more profitable venture for His purpose. And that is why God showed us mercy. Praise the name of God. And this, this, it is an act of God's mercy that we are, God is going to turn us into a lame light. He's going to show someone into the world. He's going to show you to the world by his mercies. Because you look at the scenario of David. David was a shepherd. He was looking at his father's cattle and he was fighting bears. God was preparing for the battle. But according to man's eye, he was not, he was not even fit to become the king. They, even the father was saying that he's a small one. There is a, another small one, yeah? because according to him, he was small, but according to God, he was great. And that is how God is with us, according to the administration of the mass, which has made it available for us. That as we obtain the mass of God, then God is going to shine us unto the limelight of this world. He's going to make us great. He's going to make us beyond human understanding. That someone will stand and say, it's only God who can do this. It's only God who can do this. Yeah? By the administration of God's mercy, God is going to administer our uh, mercy. As long as we're going to approach the throne of grace with confidence, God is going to prevent us from being consumed by the adverse forces of life. We have adverse forces of life which are following us. Yeah? And by God making his mercy available for us and refreshing us every, 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 every morning, then he's going to make us not being consumed by adverse forces of life. We've seen instances whereby only mercy can work. Yeah? It has already been decided this person goes to die. Yeah? But God must turns it and this person is released. Some of, 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 of us are going through things in life which we know they are not supposed to be. We are not supposed to go, supposed to be going through them because we've done all that it takes to make it work. But it's not working. We've done what is humanly possible for it to work. It's not working, but God has availed a system and has made it known to us through this morning devotion that this is a system of advantage, a system of favor that God has made it available unto us, that we can tap from it, we can get from it, and we are, we are, we are exe exempted from being consumed from the, the forces of life. There are things which are naturally not working for us, no matter how much, no matter how hard we studied that mathematics, uh, it's not working. That 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 uh, that degree you're working, you're struggling with units. Things are not working the way you want them to work. The way the parents would want them to work. The way look, your employer wants things to work. The way you want your business to work. It's not working. But you've done whatever you could do. But there is this system of mercy which God has made it known to us that is going to work to work for us. Yeah. We are and the required resources to move to a particular direction. But we've not been able to think what direction is, is, is it that we are going to do. Some of us have capital. We start business, they, they collapse the next day. Yeah? We start business, they collapse the next day. We take our school, kids to school, they are not getting anything. Yeah? It's a direction which God needs to give us. It's, it's available at this system called us. It's a system of advantage that we are going to benefit from it. And uh, with, with this, uh, this, this, this morning devotion that we call uh, through this week, it's my hope that we are going to, to boldly approach the throne of grace. It's a call for us to approach the throne of grace. This throne of grace is approached in knowledge. That is by understanding the word of God. It's approaching by knowledge, understanding what the word of God says. What is the system which is available? How is this system of mass working unto my life? It's approached through prayer by being able to make what is made available 
in the spirit realm manifest unto this world. It's the way of tapping into the spirit realm. Everything is set for us. But by masses, we are going to bring it down and make it work for us a time of one need. We are needful. We cannot, we, cannot, uh, we cannot discount that fact. And that's where we are. We are working daily, every morning. But with this system, we are going to benefit. Uh, with this, I would uh, ask us to go through the training, the, the devotions that we take since Monday up to now and learn more about God's mass. And we'll be at a, stand, at a, winning, at, at a winning position on, on our Christian work. Be blessed. Have a good day. We are wishing you a very good and blessed weekend as we go through our, our weekly devotions. Be blessed. So, kindly share to our, to our friends, our families, our colleagues, and uh, reach out to more people even through our social media uh, uh, pages and we have reached so many friends to learn what God is expecting of us. Be blessed. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this day. Blessed be your name. Exalted be your name, O God. King of glory, as we, as we end this session, O God, be with us, O God. Lead your people unto you, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be blessed.